Wow, wow, wow. It's time. Goodbye, mall. <gasps> ah! Look at all the stuff. I just went on a shopping spree. I got a carrot. Ah, uh, hello. Okay, guys, I've been thinking a lot lately about my next big project because it's been a while. I think it's been a good three months since I've started like a big project. Of course, the mansion was my most recent project and I've been talking about doing a, another Blockburg Mall. Uh, not too, well, it was a while ago, but I've been thinking a lot more lately and I definitely want to do another mall. I'm thinking maybe like an outlet mall, something where there's some outdoor places to walk through to revisit my bread mall for probably the last time. I'm actually considering a bulldozing this this place um should i do it for this video just so that there's something interesting to look at <laughs> i don't know i think i might but i've had plenty of videos with this and um you know there's always memories there's memories attached to it within those videos so i really i actually don't need it anymore um and it's 1.4 million and if i bulldoze it i'll have a lot more money to work on in the next mall yeah i just thought for this video we would just go through get a look at things get an idea of what other shops i could add probably say our last farewells to this place. I built this pretty much three years ago. Oh my gosh, it's been that long. And of course, uh, I decorated like for the seasons and stuff. I wouldn't mind deleting it to now, to be honest, because it's not my greatest, greatest build. People will suggest that I just pretty much delete everything on the inside of this and redo it, but I just want to do a completely brand new mall, like from scratch. So that's why I'm considering of just deleting this one. I think we're gonna delete this one. We're gonna bulldoze it. I guess today we're kind of just brainstorming for my next mall. I don't know exactly when I'm going to start it, but I'm kind of in that brainstorming phase trying to get that motivation. It is a lot like a lot of different video ideas will come from the mall because I'm building just so many different things like restaurants and shops or content wise. I think it's going to be great because yeah, there's just so many different things to come out of this. It's not going to be too easy. I feel like there's a lot to think about. So I got my like build a bear here. I feel like this is one of my more popular shops in the mall. This video in my bread mall series, I think was one of the more liked ones because I don't know people like build a bear. So maybe I'll include another Build-A-Bear. Let me know in the comments though what kind of uh, shops I should add in the upcoming mall that I'm going to be building. I think I'm going to build an outlet mall. Here's kind of like some examples. I've been looking at some photos like wow that's crazy. This is crazy too. That's a mall right? Emporium. This is kind of my my idea is just like building an outlet mall because then we're not really trapped inside a building. We're kind of exploring the outdoors, have some nice scenery, and then have some shops and such along the way as you pass through the outlet mall. Like this is beautiful too. I know this is more of like an indoor, like just a regular building. Imagine this with like an outlet mall too, right? Like, oh my gosh, like what? Honestly, I can kind of see this becoming like maybe a, another town or something as well, like a city or town. It's giving me like town city vibes. There's so many ideas. Look at this. I was also thinking of adding like a fountain somewhere in like the middle of the outlet mall with a bunch of lights. Kind of like the main area where everyone can like kind of meet up. I don't know, especially if you decorate it for the holidays as well. I feel like a central area within the outlet mall would be so beautiful because those outlet malls, whenever it's Christmas time or even maybe even Halloween, I'm not sure if they really do too much Halloween decorating. It gets really pretty. Like it's just so beautiful. Yeah, I think this is kind of the vision of my outlet mall. Look, they got Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> so that's kind of like some uh, some ideas I've been thinking about, some some inspirations I've been looking at. Look at this place, guys. I don't know. If I had to choose like a favorite place within my mall right now, if I had to choose like a favorite shop, what would it be? I will say Build-A-Bear and, um, oh my gosh, what's happening? Build-A-Bear and my, well, my Red Blocks coffee shop. I don't know. I'm just, I'm a, I'm a Starbucks fiend. I just like the atmosphere of like a Starbucks in general. So I guess this automatically became one of my favorite little shops to make because it's just like rustic. It's giving me rustic, industrial, modern-ish vibes, like a mixture of all of those. So that's why I really enjoyed it. The bathrooms weren't too bad either, to be honest. Like they did look like community bathrooms, you know, they did look like uh, public restrooms. They, they really were, except uh, they were just toilets and no like urinals or something like these <laughs> but yeah oh wait wait wait, wait. maybe pnb clothing as well i'm not sure actually it's probably one of my other favorite shop build a bear red blocks and my pnb clothing those are my favorites i think i built this before like shopping bags were added into the game so imagine all of the new things we can put in our brand new mall especially with like upcoming updates or something who knows what like the next update could bring that could help out my project as well i hated the movie theater i will say it i hated this movie theater this is one of the movie theaters i was not too proud of i mean it's a good basic one but public movie theater vibes it was more like a, it felt like more like a at home movie theater if anything because it was a bunch of couches i had a projector <laughs> hanging from this pillar here yeah 
Oh, and then I had an Apple Store as well. I like this too because Apple Stores are pretty simple. They just have tables of like electronics and stuff. Design wise, I don't know. I'm not too big of a fan of it, but it was pretty much an Apple Store. Famous footwear. Yes, I had famous footwear in here. I feel like this was also pretty accurate too. Like I couldn't be bothered coloring them like all different colors within the rows and stuff. So they were all the same color within one shelf. But at least it's colorful. It's pretty. That's nice. But yeah, you could tell like... Uh, just looking back on these builds, just like, oh man, I I think I've evolved. And then of course we had the infamous like skinny grocery because that was like a last minute thing to add because someone wanted me, I don't know, a few people wanted me to add a grocery store in the mall, which I've never seen before because I mean, here in the States, I don't know how many how often grocery stores are in malls, but I think they are in like other parts of the world. But, but in the States, we usually don't really have like grocery stores in the mall. So I just added that anyways because there was a bit of space. There was a bit of space. Don't even get me started on the amount of signs I'm going to have to create. The thing I dread about projects is doing the decals. Like that's probably the most, I don't know why. Like not even just building the whole thing itself. I feel like adding decals at the very end of it is just that last bit of like draining feeling. I don't know. I don't know if it's just me or you guys as well. And I'm sure many people can relate to it because like you're done with the build, but no, you're not quite done yet. You got signs to make. You have to actually put up decals. And that's why I barely put up decals in my house. I don't, I easily get drained from building regular houses and then having to put decals afterwards. So let alone a big project, that's gonna be another challenge for me having to upload a bunch of signs. I definitely wanna build like another map as well, just like to put somewhere around the outlet mall just so people can see where they're at that's going to be fun i kind of have an idea of how i'll do the map because basically when i created this map i went into build mode <laughs> a tip for malls if you're doing a mall and you need a like a little map guide for anybody who visits go to build mode and get a top down view just take a screenshot and then go into any like um, program art program and kind of label everything because that's that's probably one of the easiest ways to do it is just to get this and I actually really wow I like the way this looks from the top down view oh my god that's crazy wild I'm gonna miss it though I'm gonna miss this place I even had a little Santa photo op but that's ugly because it's like literally in the food court Ugh. and then I robbed my arcade because I needed the arcade machines for another build so I mean we wouldn't go back here anyway so I had to rob it just being smart here but yeah I'm just getting rid of some of those things oh I'm actually kind of excited for the amount of stuff I'm gonna get from this look how many cash registers I have there's so many cash registers around here Ooh, and then of course the wanted mother Shelly posters. I gotta put all the food here in my my fridge before I bulldoze it. Hold on, let me do that real quick. But that's pretty much going to be this video though. Uh, I just wanted to talk about my next big project. Kind of get some brainstorming going. And of course I need your guys' uh, feedback on what kind of shops I should add. Any specific like any special point of views that I should add. Like a point of interest. Like a... I definitely want to do that giant like fountain in the middle of the the central part of the outlet mall but um if there's any other like interesting things to look at while you're in, at the mall then let me know most of the food i actually think there's a lot of food at my uh food court we might have to go take a look at that oh yeah i think yeah this was definitely during pandemic era because there was a bunch of mask mask for sale you know okay this is a bunch of water honestly i don't really care too much about like storing water because you could just grab it easily. Okay, I don't think there's any food for me to grab. I think, oh, there's a turkey. <laughs> there's a flat out turkey right here. Honestly, yeah, this is my favorite area. Okay, I think it's time. I think it's time. I've walked around it enough. I've seen it enough. I've had a lot of videos on it. Oh, I forgot about the, the outer stores, but these were like the rejected sections, you know? I had a really ugly Lego shop. But I think it's time I deleted my mall. I can't believe it, it's time. This has been around for three years now. And um, we're gonna be getting $800,000 back. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's time. Goodbye, mall. <gasps> ah! Look at all the stuff. I get like my stock back pretty much. That's crazy. Look at that. We're at $2.2 million now. I can't believe it. My mall is officially gone now. It's one of the longer builds I've had. New mall. But we're gonna make it our new mall project.
Okay, cool. We have more money. We won't have to work pizza delivery for another good long time. That's pretty much it for today's episode. Just kind of brainstorming, getting some ideas together. I know that I want to build an outlet mall. You guys can leave your comments down below. What kind of shops you would like to see get added? Any specific stores? Any specific like landscaping, like special landscaping? I don't know, sights to see. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, but it's going to be mainly like exterior and then, you know, you just walk into whatever building. I think it's going to be really fun. It's going to probably give like city or town vibes as well but that wraps up today's episode if you guys enjoyed it if you found it interesting make sure to give it a big old thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button too because it is completely free and i will see you guys in the next video once again i don't know when i'm gonna start the mall i just wanted to brainstorm today honestly me starting the mall could be weeks from now <laughs> so don't don't be too uh don't expect it to happen anytime soon but if i feel super motivated to begin it then it's gonna happen out of nowhere just a heads up goodbye and i think planning it out first right now is the best thing I could do to not be burnt out or anything. <laughs>